The annual VMA Awards are back, and again, fans are questioning the strange performances that took place. The imagery coming from this year's VMA performance is only getting more and more blatant. No longer are they trying to hide their agendas, instead, openly declaring them through their performances. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The True Fizz, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about this year's VMA Awards. Let's get right into it. If you're anything like me, you saw clips of this year's VMAs and thought to yourself, it just keeps getting weirder and weirder. From strange occult performances and a woman in the crowd that people are calling the devil, this VMAs was rather disturbing. Hollywood stopped holding back years ago, and each year they proved that to us with these award shows. At this award show, we saw some of the biggest artists in the world showing their alliance to the Hollywood elite. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at two performances to break down the imagery that was shown. But before we get into that, it's important we talk a bit about MTV and its connections to masonry. There is a reason the VMAs is full of this strange occult imagery during its performances. It's not just the artists that choose to perform these strange performances, it's MTV that forces it. What many don't know is that MTV was created by Freemasons. While many think MTV stands for music television, it actually stands for Masonic Television. Since the very beginning, MTV didn't even try to hide their Masonic Alliance. As back in the early days of MTV, they actually had one of their biggest headquarter buildings inside of a Grand Masonic Lodge. For those that are new here and don't know what a Grand Masonic Lodge is, it's a building where Freemasons meet, host meetings, and perform occult rituals. MTV had one of their headquarter buildings in a Canadian Grand Masonic Lodge. If that's not already suspicious for you, there's actual episodes uploaded on YouTube from MTV Live that shows a Masonic square encompasses in the background behind the host of the show. For those who don't know what the square encompasses symbol is, it's the main symbol of masonry and it actually represents duality, male and female coming together. Episode after episode, you can see this Masonic symbol in the background. They didn't even try to hide it at all. It's pretty clear and obvious that the Masons are behind MTV and it's the reason the VMAs are so dark. Last year, they had Doja Cat at the VMAs performing her demon song Surrounded by Demons. She performed her demonic song while the crowd cheered her and her demons on. This performance was inspired by Doja's Scarlet album. If you remember me breaking down the Scarlet album, then you know that the Scarlet Woman is what Aleister Crowley and his Thelema religion worship. Aleister Crowley taught his followers that the goddess Babylon, or what he called the Scarlet Woman, could be channeled and worshipped for power. Here we have Doja Cat tricking millions to worship the Babylon women without them even noticing. This is what the VMAs is all about, pushing the Masonic agenda to the masses while the fans unknowingly worship these fallen idols. This is deeper than just some music, this is all spiritual and sadly, so many fans don't seem to realize that. Again this year, the VMAs are showing us that they are tied to the Masonic order and the occult. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the strange woman that was caught in the crowd during the performance. This clip has been going viral online of a random woman in the crowd with a strange demonic look on her face staring into the camera. Many people are saying that she was the devil and when you see these performances, it all makes sense. What's even more disturbing about this woman is that she was shown right after they showed LL Cool J coming down while everyone was holding pictures of a goat. This was obvious what it was representing and I don't think it's a coincidence they put the camera on that woman with that strange look. We know what the goat represents, Baphomet, the deity all these occultists worship. While I wasn't able to find this woman, I will say her look is rather haunting. The first performance we need to talk about is Katy Perry's performance. Katy Perry has been showing her alliance to the Masonic Order since the very beginning. Her song Dark Horse with Juicy J is all about occult magic, which is shown to us through the imagery of the music video for the song. In the music video, we see the Egyptian gods, the masons and occultists worship. We also see the all-seeing eye which occultists call the Eye of Horus. To these occultists, this symbol represents the god Horus, which is their god of the new age. This is why we always see them using the same one eye imagery, showing their worship for Horus. Interestingly enough, Katy Perry opened their performance with the Dark Horse song, which is all about occult magic. 
The performance starts with Katie floating in front of a portal. The portal imagery has been all over Hollywood for the last few years, showing these artists opening up a spiritual portal to the other side. The reason they show these singers floating or flying in the sky is to show them as gods with the fans worshipping them. While she's in the sky flying, she is literally singing so you want to play with magic. None of this is hidden anymore. Sadly, the fans are just too far gone to notice. In another part of the performance, we see her backup dancers ritually dancing in front of the portal that is shown glowing as if it's releasing energy to the crowd. It couldn't be more obvious than this, they were showing Katy Perry as a fallen angel being worshipped by the crowd. We then see Katy Perry pushing transhumanism through her performance as well, as she shows a woman dressed as a cyborg. Occultists believe that technology will allow them to rise to the level of gods. They believe that through science and technology, they will become gods on earth. It's important to note that most of science comes directly from occult teachings. For example, if you look into chemistry, you will find out that it comes directly from alchemy. Alchemy is an ancient occult magic that many occultists to this day still utilize. Many masons study alchemy and use it in their rituals and practices. In fact, the Masonic Square Encompasses symbol is a symbol of alchemy. It represents two opposites coming together, the male and the female, the masculine and the feminine. Not only is this performance full of occult references, but it was also rather explicit and vulgar to be on TV, shown to people of all ages. It's obvious they're pushing their do it thou will agenda through these performances. At the end of the performance, we see Katy Perry appearing with demonic looking butterfly wings. Again, this is a reference to the occult and the transformation of man to God. The butterfly is a symbol of transformation. The wings also represent Lucifer the fallen angel who guided humanity to the forbidden knowledge, making them as gods. It's obvious Katy Perry is a Masonic puppet and this is why they had her performing at this Masonic award show. This portal imagery is important and it's why we also see Eminem using it in his Houdini music video and also in his VMAs performance. They are showing us what's behind these artists and that it's coming from the spiritual world. The next artist we're going to be talking about is Sabrina Carpenter. What's crazy is that I literally just did a video exposing Sabrina Carpenter as the new industry plant. Now she has one of the biggest VMA performances of the year. Coincidence? I don't think so. And it's also strange that my Sabrina Carpenter video is one of my least watched videos that I dropped recently. When it dropped, YouTube for whatever reason refused to recommend it and I wonder why. Like I said in that video, Sabrina is the new puppet being pushed by the masses. While she isn't new to the music industry, she is experiencing her newfound fame and popularity. The elites of Hollywood have chosen her and are using her to get to the next generation. This only means Sabrina will get bigger and bigger, just like we're seeing right now. During her performance, just like Katy Perry's, they showed they're coming down from the sky. Again, this is to show her as a god as she descends from the heavens. We then see her touch down on the stage and things only get stranger and stranger. The first thing I spotted was the Saturn imagery being displayed in the background. What many people don't know is that Saturn was actually a Roman god. The god Saturn is worshipped by Akotis because he actually just represents Horus. In ancient Egypt, Saturn was referred to as Horus Bull of the Sky or sometimes simply shortened to Horus the Bull. Saturn is the equivalent to Horus. They are the same deity. That is the reason why occultists love admiring Saturn and use the Saturn planet imagery just about everywhere. We then see Sabrina kiss an alien that's on stage dancing along with her. This alien is another occult reference and doesn't represent an alien at all. Instead, it represents Awis, the messenger of the gods that Crowley claims gave him the prophecies of the coming age of Horus. This is the picture Crowley drew of what Awis appeared. If you look at it clearly, it resembles the generic alien depiction we have all come to know. What's even more interesting is that Sabrina Carpenter is connected to the Church of Scientology. I exposed the Church of Scientology in this old video and I showed how it directly connected to the occultist Aleister Crowley. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of the Church of Scientology, was actually a part of Crowley's Thelema religion. In fact, Scientology is just Thelema repackaged to be consumed by the public. Sabrina's connection to Scientology comes from her aunt Nancy Cartwright, who is the voice of Bart Simpson's from The Simpsons Show. 
Nancy joined the Church of Scientology all the way back in 1991. She was such an active member that she was even awarded Scientology's Patreon Award. She got this award after she donated over $10 million to the church in 2007. Now it's being reported online that Nancy, who helped Sabrina's career, wants her to join the organization. She also wants Sabrina Carpenter to be the new celebrity face replacing Tom Cruise. They want to use Sabrina to bring in new younger members. You think it's a coincidence that she's kissing an alien during her performance? Not at all. This is exactly what the Church of Scientology teaches. Honestly, so much of these performances had this dark occult imagery throughout. Sadly, so many lost souls show up to these performances to give them their worship, not knowing that these celebrities are feeding off their energy. As part of the truth community, we need to do our best to wake up the masses. We need to share the truth in order to at least help some of these lost souls. You can do that by sharing this video with someone who's lost and consumed by these artists. Even if they reject the truth, their consciousness will take note. Sooner than later, they would see you only try to help them see the truth. We have to remember that every day we wake up, our souls are at stake. We must also remember that we must help those who can't see the truth find the truth. Well, that's it for this video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.